I took the time to come back, sell all my useless garbage, and now we don't have to do that on camera anymore. On the contrary, we have a mission in the... Uh, are we still in Lowtown? If we are still in Lowtown... Greetings, my lady. You look like a woman who'd appreciate the finest rubies from Antiva, raising her lovely neck. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. My lady, I'm a bachelor. I've never met a woman of sufficient beauty and charm to tie Vincento down. <laughs> That's the best you can do with a guard staring you in the face. Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. We're not Templars, Sirrah. Fainriel has nothing to fear from us. Maltithune, you are a mate. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? To an elf-blooded child abandoned by his human father? Of course we would. The boy is in over his head. So I sent him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages. A former Templar named Samson. Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him, having served the Templars too long. He now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. Do I know this Templar? Huh. Quest updated. There was another thing I wanted to see around here. A paddle shop. Uh, imports. What was the thing I was looking forward to seeing? Because I logged in to sell the stuff so we didn't have to watch it now. And I saw something on my way here and then I forgot what it was. I guess we can go? I thought we were done with Varric's mission to talk to him, but apparently it was never completed. So, I've been dying to know. What was going through your head when you fought that ogre? For the first few seconds. What do they feed those things? <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's even seen one. You're lucky just to be standing here. Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. Anything in particular I should know about your brother? To understand Bartrand, you've got to understand the Dwarven Merchants Guild. These are dwarves who would sell their mothers if they thought it'd get them a better share of the Lyrium market. Anyone who deals with them has to sleep with a knife under their pillow. In my family, that's Bartrand. What are your plans for this trip into the Deep Roads? Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. We've got supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry to go into the deep roads, mind you. If we'll be working together, I should find out more about you. You're in luck. I'm always willing to talk about myself to beautiful women. My family came from Orzammar. Noble House Tethrus. Until my father got caught fixing provings. He and our whole house got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine suits me just fine. Are you a merchant? A mercenary? I'm a younger son. It's a difficult and dangerous profession. A lot of us die of boredom. Fortunately, being Bartrand's younger brother keeps me on my toes. Maker knows he lacks subtlety. I'm the one who pulls strings to keep the coterie out of our hair. Keep us just a whisker ahead of the other families. What are the Deep Roads like? Well, I could tell you the standard tales. 
Legions of Darkspawn, ravenous beasts, cave-ins. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be... let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great. Now we're adventurous. Not yet we aren't. Oh, we're friends with Varric now. How nice. All right, I'm done with this, I suppose. Again, I'm going to ask, who the fuck designed this texture? What were they thinking? They're using this texture everywhere. It reminds me of the old Valve you missing really textures like things in, in um, uh, video you games and mods. Them, what are you guys talking about? Uh, where should we go next? I have unfinished business in Hightown, so maybe head over to Hightown for a second and uh, see. I have a lot of things to turn in. Loathing, Hubert! It wasn't a big enough village to have a wall around it, let alone a place for elves. Where did the elves live then? Stables and outbuildings mostly. I think I like alienages better. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But... I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. I got all the dragons. Should be safe enough for now. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? I'll do it for the proletariat! Seems like the miners could use protection. And an advocate. So, to our first order of business, we replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Help wanted. Citizens of Kirkwall. My dear wife, Ninette, has gone missing. I shall reward the person who returns her safely. Questions about the bounty of Ninette? Come speak to me in the high town market, Gislin de Karak. Robes by Jean Luc. Robes by Jean Luc. Uh, a backpack. I'm sorry. I mean, I'll buy one of these. Sure. Is it done? Ooh, increased by 10. Jean-Luc, do you sell more? Oh, he doesn't have any more. Cool. That was useful. I need to find my oh, there he is. Will no one help? What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well, 
I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Yeah, well, something tells me that his wife just ran away from home. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's a wrong doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her? Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. It wasn't always like this. We were in love. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Nina is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Maybe we can convince her to send him a letter or something? I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. Uh, this guy is terrible. Hey, Franz. And your wife sounds terrible, too. You deserve each other. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she's better off where she is right now. Where else are we going? Oh, the blooming rose is here. Perfect. This fell into my hands. I recognize it. You just stumbled on this? Can't say I'm surprised, bloody fools. Late again. Where is she? I wouldn't know. Oh, a Fenril. Yeah, we would have to deal with this sooner or later. Well, are you here to socialize or did you bring my goods? Should we tell her the truth or not? Is she gonna go after the boy? I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie. But your property was long gone. Coterie? I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. Your books right here? Where? Inside the barrels? Good job, Hawk. Thanks. What do we have to do in the Blooming Rose? Oh wait, it's the br- Oh, yeah. <clears throat> right. Door. Oh, Varric! I have a job for you, buddy. Yeah. That's the way I like it. That's not really my thing. Yeah, not all doors open, my dear. A stone toe. Quest updated. The Paragon Stow. Ew! What the hell? Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? I can see why Nanette liked you. You're feisty. <laughs> a refreshing change from the pale slug I married. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. 
good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Ninette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only <laughs> oh, one who God. might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Ghislaine knew about you and Nanette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Were you hoping Nanette would leave Ghislaine for you? Of course not. I know my place. I offer a service, that's all. Anyway, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Ninette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> anyway, if Ninette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Someone else Ninette spent special alone time with, perhaps? She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him yourself. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. Oh my god, he did the thing. Oh, I appreciate the fact they took the extra time to animate this. Wait, I still have business with you? Why? Back again. Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? Perhaps I am. I'm sure. Oh, this is awkward. Um, guys, cover your ears and eyes. I have coin in my purse and time to spare. Why not? Hawk, not now. Oh, quiet, you! Yes, now. You wait here. Can't I wait outside instead? What are they going to watch? What is this? What was that? Avalyn, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. What? Why was it? That was a quest? We cannot open that door. Okay. Time to go. Is my uncle still here? Gambling, you piece of garbage. Gremlin. Shit. Of course he's here. Where else would he spend all my money? Well then, what now? Oh, we have another quest over here, and uh, Magistrate Van Aert... Oh... Right. We gotta tell him we found his son. The son who turned out to be a pervert, and a sadist, and possessed by demons, and all that good stuff. Him. Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They laud at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce and utterly without pity. That she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. 
I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmot and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. May her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. What a coincidence. We were heading to the gallows. I found your son. Son? I don't know what you're talking about. If you stop pretending nothing's wrong, maybe you can help him. You think you know it all, don't you? Your tone says there's truth to this. I am not going to lose my son because a handful of elves make up ridiculous stories. You'll not mention this again. Convince me not to. He can pay me money. Keep your coin, that secret won't last. I don't want your dirty money. Judging from your ability to corral your son, I don't have much to worry about. If we found this, others will too. I'll see to it. If you tell a soul about my son, I swear I will make things very, very difficult for you here in Kirkwall. Bring it! I want to see you try! As if things were not already difficult for me. Where are we headed? Oh, there's uh, nothing for us down here. Uh, this is uh, the Viscount Skip, right? We haven't finished the business over there as well. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do do do. Wow wow wow. Man, that's a long way up. Uh, when were escalators invented? What a grand idea. I hope they do something about this canals. Maybe it's just because this man has short feetsies. Maybe I should play with, uh, with Marin for a little bit. She doesn't even have shoes. Girl, I should buy you some shoes. Next time we're out in the market, I'm gonna get you some sneakers. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his Canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be Talbashoth. The winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? Looks like I'm not the only one who saw the bounty posting. Apparently so. And I am regretting it. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. Haven't we talked to this guy again? He is the man who cannot grow a full beard. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone. And there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be... ...of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arashok has declared that it is not his role. To do so. 
Apparently their rebels, the Talvashoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. This isn't a task for a guardsman? Yes, isn't it? There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. I should know about the competition. The Winters out of Navarra. They don't care one whit if Seamus is returned unharmed. Their lead, Sarah Guinness, is hungry for a foothold in Fair Kirkwall. And frankly, we have enough of their kind. Ready the reward. He'll be back in no time. Declare it if you like. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the wounded coast. I am sure I will. She seemed important. Any chests? Uh, anything for the taking? Hello? Right on, stealing from the Viscount, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, boys and goyles. Not likely. Ow. They wouldn't let me in either way. Any more doors for the Ugh. I hate the nobles! Fucking wealthy people, I hate them! Let's get the hell out of here. I'm getting allergic. Dark town, docks, low town. We have unfinished business all over the place. Should we go in uh, Low Town first? Let's do Low Town. Get everything we can get and then we will start adventuring. I've been doing a lot of talking as of late, but I guess it's necessary. Ugh, flies. New surfacer, sir, sir. Are you one of the miners? This fell into my hands. Recognize it. I had long since paid my debt over this. It's grand to see it again. What was that? Why is that a, a mission item? I just picked it up off somewhere. It was weird. Jansen! Hey, this one that rescued me from them dragons. A fellow for Elden, no less. Oh. Eyes on her face, you lush. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant half of the South Reach. Yeah? My eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. <laughs> Ooh. You're a real hero. Now, what brings you here? I killed the dragons. It's safe to return to work. What if there's more dragons later? Or something worse, like, uh, bigger dragons? I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard you is the only one willing to hire us. I can protect you. <laughs> you work for me now. I own half the mine now. I'll keep it safe. Really? Oh, be nice to work for one of our own. If you don't give us a fair shake, who would? Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. Okay, all done. Thanks. Thanks for the 400 experience. Are we done with Low Town? Seems like it. Okay. Let's move Quality on. Armor. The best outside of Orzammar. Quality armor. You are selling just a couple of Templar shields and that's it. Of three children. Hangman. No, I need an exit. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell am I? 
where's the exit around these parts? No, seriously, where is the exit? Oh, maybe we can go into the hangman and live from there, I guess. Do I need to talk to any of you? Order a drink. Where is that lady? We are supposed to meet her somewhere. She's not around here, though. Is she? Hello? Someone is supposed to be here, uh, maybe downstairs. Do 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 There is no downstairs. You lie to me. Is this blood? No, let's all pretend it's wine. We can go to the gallows, we can go to Dark Town. Viscount's keep. What do I need to do in use this use this is pommel? What? I don't remember what that is. I was here a moment ago, wasn't I? What do you want from me? Not much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. I trust you are well, Donick. I am. And your reward is well earned. It will be grand having you over me. Uh, above me. In rank. Guard captain. Thank you, Donick. No. It will be grand indeed. <laughs> I heard you lost something. This it? You found this? I don't know what to say. What are these random quests I'm getting? Well, more experience for me, without even doing anything. Please just leave this cursed place. I do not like it. Leave the area, right meow. Docks or gallows? Docks! I said I was gonna play- Oh my god, you are so skinny. Aside from the shoes, I gotta feed you too. Man, you're skin and bone. Like, she's straight up being anorexic. This fell into my hands. Recognize it. I kind of like the canary. You always know what they want. Absolutely nothing. Let me pass. I have business with the dwarf Javaris and your Arashok. The short mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. Right, we need to get paid from this job as well. Did you get your explosives? Ah, my right hand arrives. Summon your Arashok. The bargain is done. About time you showed. I've been here for hours. Why are the Kunari so hot? <clears throat> Illustrious Arashak, I am here to report that your hated Talvashoth were felled, one and all. Right? Uh, yes, yes, yes they were. So, I'm ready to open negotiations for the explosive powder, as we agreed. No. He's not getting it. Say something. The Tal Vashoth camped at the Wounded Coast are dead. You won't honor your bargain? There is no bargain to honor. His offer for the Gatlock was refused, so he invented a task to prove his worth, when he has none. I broke my beard getting your outcasts killed. But he still has his beard. Do you think it hurts? <laughs> you hired someone more competent and now stand in their shadow pretending it is yours. You demean her accomplishment. Get out of my sight before I bother lifting my sword. I did his dirty work. That debt stands. Does it, dwarf? You said yourself there was no bargain. I'm not getting a sodding thing out of this.
This human did what you could not, something I did not expect of any outsider, and you have involved me. If you made a bargain for the Tal Vashoth, that debt for their lives will be honored. Sad it all, take your coin, take whatever. Hornhead oxmen and mongrel dog lords suck your own powder and blow your head off, sod it. You will leave as well, human. There's no more coin for you here. Wow. Thanks! Can I recruit you? Please? Why do you bother me, human? The dwarf paid you. There is no more. Your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal. This city, all of it, leaves a bad taste. If you despise this place, why haven't you left? Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave, but how can you bear to stay in this chaos? I agree. It's a mess. But you don't see that as a problem? I see it as an opportunity, and I intend to take full advantage. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. It is an undeniable certainty. What full advantage can you take without that authority? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be. As do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. I am not the one to educate you. I did not intend to land here. But this city may demand certainty. I suspect we are done, human. I don't think Kirkwall would do well under military rule. The rule of the Kune is not military. It is discipline and order. How is that different? To your limited understanding, it is not. You fear soldiers that arrive to remove your pitiable vices. But they do not control Kunari. The Triumvirate divides and governs. One is nothing without the others. Can you tell me about the other two parts? No. <sighs> now you're just being difficult. I am no more equipped to explain than you are to understand. Ari Shock, Ari Gaina, Ari Kune. Pillars of the Kunari, of the nation that must be. There is but one way to know these things, human. And I have yet to decide if it must be done. You're a long way from home. Why did you come? To meet a demand of the Kune. Which was? It is a matter only the Kunari understand. We remain until we fulfill the demand of the Kune. Or until the demand changes. How many Kunari have you lost to the Talvashoth? None. <laughs> Optimistic, considering my death toll. We lose nothing when weakness abandons the Kune. It is the Talvashoth who have lost themselves. You guard your powder carefully. It is a tool that can only be allowed to exist under the ordered authority of the Kune. It could benefit many people. It does now. Just as swords benefit warriors, but are not given to children. Well, your children. Well, he has a point. Farewell. Panahedan, human. What did you say about my mother?
One day I'm going to recruit one of you, Kulnari. And that day will be glorious. Soon, TM. Codex updated. Where are we headed? Should we go adventure a little bit? I want to kill something. Anything, really. Where are the exits from here? Are the beggars multiplying or is it just me? There's a lot more beggars than I remember. We could do gallows, but I, I think I'm gonna head over to the wounded coast and go find uh, Seamus before the winters do. Hopefully. Oh, uh, and uh, yeah. Where are we headed? It's here. It's this area map, isn't it? Uh, it's all the way down below. Hello! Why are we tanking? Ah, oh, shit! Well, guess the winders are not here yet. Oh, he died. Good work, spellcasters! Back to you, uh, what's your face? Hawk? Traps? What traps? The Talva Shoth are not popular for placing traps. Not like the common bandits. Are we taking a left turn over here ish? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We should be close now. Even though I don't see anybody. Not yet. Oh, mercenary. Mer oh shit, the winters came before me. And the world's rid of one more canary. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? A shot. You killed him. You. You Vashadan bitch. That one of their words. See, that's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? Was he a friend to the Talva Shoth? A little rough for a rescue, don't you think? Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah. If I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these murderers rewarded. Spoiled shit! I'll cut out your tongue and charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you, I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others. Hey, 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 easy now, easy now! Let's start with an explosion, shall we? Oh, oh, there are people behind me, too. Ow, 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 ow. Stop it. Get away from me. I have an arrow on my back. Damn, she's tough. Lightning ball to Guinness's face. Mercenary. Thank you for the injury kit. Dead and good riddance, but she said she was waiting for more. A lot more. Then we ready ourselves. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. Where did she call for so many people? They were after one man! Anyway, it doesn't matter. EXPLODE! Into all these beautiful fireworks. Also, I'll plop a six to bolster my dudes. Yeah, let's go team. I'll deal with it. Fireball! How is our health, everybody? Good? Very nice. Uh, Avelyn is trying. But I will kill her a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Come closer, boys. I got fireballs for everybody. As a matter of fact, no. I will plop one of these things down. Oh, no. Don't come any closer. <laughs> Sasha just keeping them busy. Good work, Doggo. Oh, Andraste. I've never seen so many corpses. So much blood. We'll get through this. Hold on a little longer. There may be more coming. If she's saying there are more coming, there's definitely more coming. <gasps> Number five in their faces. Oh, yeah. Is Avalyn all the way back there? Well, the commander is a toughie. Fireball! Anybody need healing? Who is fighting all the way back there? Is it sausage? Wait a minute. Uh, Hex of Torment. And you... I'll do another five around these parts. What is this thing called anyway? Tempest. Oh, uh, no, no, too close. Get away from me. Dude, how many people are there? What is going on? Stop attacking my dudes. Where is my Mabari? I, I mean, where is Sausage? I love it when a plan works out. A, single a shard never lied. Never coddled. You were worth his time, or you were not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father, and I will try again to make him see. It's clear this was not your first encounter with this... a shard. I met him soon after their ship founded. I had run, again, to escape the keep and my father. A shard was to map the coast, to find an answer for the Arishok. I had so many doubts. Kunari have none. I wasn't aware that Kunari take many friends. Perhaps it isn't the right word. I am the Viscount's son, bound by everything that means. A shard did not care. We were both seeking something. That was enough. Were you lovers? I confess, I'm not sure what one does with a dead Canari. The body is no longer him, and is worthy of no special treatment. That is, apparently, their way. Should his people be told? They will know. Whether they will deign to acknowledge it, I have no idea. There was much of a shard that I didn't understand, but it was so very worth trying. The Viscount is clearly concerned about your safety. The Viscount sends thugs to do a father's job. I was in no danger until his help arrived. You could have told him this was your wish. Keep your assumptions. He doesn't hear me. He's as tired of being disappointed as I am of bearing it. And now, Ashad is dead. It's not right. Let's go, Seamus. No, wait! Oh, oh shit! The loot! Key. The loot! We, then we, take we me got... to him. No! The loot! There is so much loot on the ground! Oh, what have I done? No. Father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, Father. Uh, allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Your Excellency. She fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. I don't want your gratitude. I want my loot. There were complications, but I was privileged to keep your son from harm. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with a shard. The Kunari. 
They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my own family. Benign or not, it's, it's too much. Seamus is right to question. This is clearly not my affair. A little too much insight into the office for me. Your actions are appreciated. The Seneschal will see you out. He gave me five gold and and Aveline's appreciation. I, I respect that. I'm just annoyed I didn't take all this loot. Oh my god, that was so much loot. Uh, wait, I don't have any quests out here. The Wounded Coast. I bet the loot is not available anymore, is it? Yeah, the game plops me in this location, so it's not... Yeah, it's gone. It's all gone. Well, that's too bad, I suppose. Low town at night. Where were we supposed to find uh, Ninette, the wife? I don't remember. Also, Isabella. I want to meet Isabella once more. Are you answering? Ah! Sweet mother of Parth. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you? The human the Fenril told me about? The one looking for work? Did you think I was going to attack you? Oh, no, no. Uh, all right. Hope not. Anyhow, my apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. Oh, it's Lyrium. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars. Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. By the Paragons, not so loudly. My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I, I don't know if I would go... They see... The goods are valuable, however. And illegal. And my client wants them very, Do we want to do this? It's badly. smuggling. Like, it's, it's <laughs> lyrium, you know right? Templars can be. I'll get it back for you. Sure. Add it to the list of things I'm accessory to. Oh, thank goodness. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Evelyn, I'm sorry, okay? I just... We just need the money and the experience. How else are we gonna level up? Sister Patrice. Here, miss. Word is you're looking for help. And paying well. What's wrong with your I beard? Need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley, and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Another sad Lowtown tale in the making. As if we needed another. Can you save someone so intent on being foolish? Taking advantage of a lady, are we? Oh, 
Don't worry, miss. I'll save you. I will fireball these fools. Extra crispy. Well, thank you for your timely intervention. I am out of my element. Surely you didn't realize that just now. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. You make a lot of assumptions. It almost got you killed already. All the more reason to end this quickly. You must need coin. Everyone here does. Varnell! Not so helpless, I see. I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. Is she a Templar or some shit? Oh. Oh. Yep. No loot from these guys? Seriously? I haven't seen loot in a million years. Well, for as long as we've been playing today, I don't think I've seen loot. Old Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. Uh, retired? Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke damp. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who got the dust. The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. Magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, just about kills you. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke though, not a silver on him. I help one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. Charity to a point, I see. I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rayner. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumor has it Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse. Somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. I'll look into it. There's another thing here, however. Sausage! Where's my sausage? Get him, sausage! Just falling from the rooftops, what the shit? Alright, let's get a little closer. Highway man. Alright, who sent you? of potent moonshine mm -mm -mm. moonshine blame it on the boy isn't this where the lady was supposed to meet us I am expected I thank you for coming. 
This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. If this is criminal, I already have enough trouble. I should think you're about to have more. I am Sister Patrice. This is my burden of charity. Shiva Da? Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts? I call him Katojin, a bridge between... Someone is into bondage. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people. Or being seen in my care. If you are so intent on this, why not use Chantry resources? My order will soon realize the Kanari presence is more than a test of faith. It is an open challenge. But for now, I must act on my own. Helping this mage shows how Kunari heresy cannot be ignored. His flight is vital. Is freedom so helpful? A new life with that collar seems doubtful. And yet it is more than he has. My reach is limited. His struggle is his own. It just seems like releasing a bird. Cage and all. We do what we can to step toward what is right. That must be enough. You are not interested in who you might be hiring. If you were important enough to know, I would need someone else. But if you insist, what is your family name? My name is Hawk. Strong. Very Ferelden. The Canari have hardly pressured the southern nations. You have not seen as many converts or those who refused. If this action, if any action, can lessen their influence, it must be done. Will he help? If I trust him at all. I don't know his capabilities or if he can function at all in that collar, but I think he knows we are his only way out. You think? He's followed every direction and made no aggressive moves, even when taunted. Were I in his place, I could have fled. Kunari or not, I can only assume he wants to be led to freedom. And if you're wrong, I have to deal with it. That is why I went to Lowtown. You are either capable of the discretion and skill that I need, or you are not. I've had dealings with the Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader. If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. Can we keep him? You don't just stumble on something. Someone like this. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Tal Vashoth. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels can fall. Sevonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. Why would they do this to him? That is obviously not an option. You must avoid incident with the guards. I cannot be linked to this. This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck. That's a weird one. Does he speak? Katojan, is it? You need to be led out of the city. <laughs> I don't know if he understood you. I know I didn't understand him. It has been difficult to get information, but look at him. Would you want this? We must have that in common. Oh, 
Varric hated this. Um, alright. <laughs> Take a small break and I will see you on the next episode of Dragon Age 2. Until then, thank you everyone for watching. Have fun, whatever you do. Take care of yourselves and do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.